He was just a fighter right off the bat. Yeah, that's what that's what I like about these things. They don't they're not like perch. They actually give you a nice ride. Well, he was not happy about that. So, <laughs> what do you you got a walleye or something on or what? No, that's a white fish. I just saw him. He's not it. Oh, I, there's bigger ones than that out here. <laughs> here he comes, here he comes. Here's my sinker. Oh, yeah. That's Easy. A nice one. Easy. Fish of the day. Fish of the day. Look at that. Oh, come on up, buddy. Yeah? Oh, get You're gonna lose them. Look at yeah. That. Look at that. I don't know. Well, I got you. <laughs> All right. What do you think of that? Great. <laughs> well, as for what we were doing and where we were located, we were fishing offshore about one to one and a half miles on the Bay of Green Bay side of Sturgeon Bay in about 30 to 50 feet of water. The bottom was a mix of sand and clay, and as you can see by our underwater footage, it was full of zebra mussels. Now we were fishing two techniques, a jigging spoon or a jigging rapala tipped with a minnow, and then the basic split shot rig. And the trick was to keep the minnow active, but as close to the bottom as possible. Because as Andy pointed out, whitefish are a motion-oriented feeder, meaning they react more to motion and flash versus smell or color. Well, remember when your dad, mom, uncle, grandpa, or whomever handed you the rod so you could feel the fight of your first fish? Of course you do. That's why we got hooked on fishing in the first place, isn't it? Come here. Put your line on that part. All right. You got him? Go a little slower, a little slower. A little slower. I'm going to have you go this way a little further. Okay. Go a little that's my perch, if that's a perch. All right. You see it? Not yet. <laughs> yeah, I've been feeding them here for a while. A little aqua farming. I haven't seen him yet. Boy, he's a fighter. He's way down here yet. Go ahead. Let's go get on. Easy, easy. Go slower. Easy. Uh, stuck in the ice. <laughs> Ooh, that water is warm. That's a pretty big one here. Whatever it is. Go slow. <laughs> Just hold on to the rod. Don't yeah, let don't, the... Don't. Yeah. First fish of a lifetime. Hold on. Yeah. Now let this one get off, huh? I haven't, I haven't even seen it yet. Oh my gosh! Would you hook a whale down there? I thought there wasn't whales in here. Okay, okay stop reeling. Now slowly lift up. Holy cow, this thing's huge, whatever it is. This thing is big. But you see what's happening is there. Hopefully it's not. Oh, the drag is. Yeah, the drag is loose. So I don't know if I want to keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, reel, reel. Okay. Oh, there he is. Oh, easy. so excited I had to catch a fish here. Perch! <laughs> Cody, what are you supposed to do when they get one like that? Go ahead and laugh. <laughs> I'm proud of him. I worked hard for this man. <laughs> Pounding away. Yep. Oh. He slipped off. Oh, that was a bender, too. <laughs> Got off. That happens. Little still on there. Get her back down. 
That happens more than I like to admit. Yeah. Because <laughs> their mouths are, they're kind of soft. And when I use my ultralight rod like this, you really got to set the hook hard. And on the camera there, when you're watching it, when you yank that hook, that fish hardly moved. And right. I was right. I was way up in the air. So what you need, I like using this rod, but you can use a little heavier rod with backing. You know, they got new rods though, where they're really flimsy here, and then they got backing about right here. Mm -hmm. Them are the good ones to set the hook on these right. things to make sure Put you get a little a more bend. backbone on the rod to yep. to set it. I just like using this because. I can catch quite a few of them at a time and uh -huh. it doesn't bother me if I miss them, but that's what you kind of need is a nice rod to do these, you know, get them all hooked hard because there's a stretch in the line and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. 